Welcome, welcome, welcome! What's going on, everybody? It is Mark Matthews with you once again. I am so excited to be here for the first ever episode two of Exchange Games Live. So I can't wait. We got a great show for you. I'm super excited. This might be my second favorite game of the year. I don't know that just yet because Elden Ring exists and I don't know if I hate the game or I love the game and it's the greatest thing ever made. So I want to say thank you and welcome um, from last time. Uh, I am a uh, U.S. Army veteran. Uh, I was in from 2004 to 2015, and now I'm a social media designer here at The Exchange, and we're just coming to you guys live tonight, going to play some Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I, full disclosure, I have played this game a little bit, but we're going to start fresh today. But before we do that, I want to encourage all of you to head on over to uh, shopmyexchange.com slash vets and get verified. Get your account so you can get um, all those great deals and everything. It's a benefit that you earned. So please head on over to shopmyexchange.com slash vets. Get verified. Get your account. And then, and then you'll be able to look at everything. And it'll be great. So we're going to get things started off tonight. Burning that midnight oil with some tiny Tina's Wonderland. So I would like to encourage you guys, if any of you, if my levels are off or I'm too loud or the game is too loud, I have turned the music off so we don't have any of those uh, copyright issues um, this time that we had last time. So hopefully we will uh, skate around that just a little bit. Um, but this is Tiny Tina's. If you don't know anything about it, this is uh, made by or published by 2K and made by Gearbox. Uh, they produced all the Borderlands games, which are near and dear to my heart. I've played them all. I love them all. What's going on, Jose? How are you, sir? Good to see you. Glad you're here. And um, so we just want to kick this off. So we're going to hit play here. We're going to start a new game. Relaxed, balanced, or intense. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna take it easy tonight. We're going to take it easy tonight. Trey, what's going on, brother? How are you? It's good to see you today. Right. We are also going to skip the cutscenes just for whatever reasons. I just, I just don't feel the need to, to get to get shut down again. So here we go. So when I played this the first time, I played as a Stabomancer. Had the time of my life with my boy Matt. May the fourth be with you as well, Julie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Today is, well, it's May third. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is May. May the fourth be with you. So indeed. Hey Leah, how are you? Good to see you. Um, so I played as a Stabomancer, had a great time with my boy Matt. We were, uh, we were killing it, but I want to try something different, and I was looking around at him. I think we're going to do the Necromancer character, the Graveborn. So we're going to give that a go. Uh, but you know what? I am not going to go through. We're going to do some presets, see if we see anything that looks like me. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Anything with a beard I'll take. I mean... It's kind of perfect. It's kind of perfect. Hey, thanks, Trey. All right. I mean, that's that's our that's our guy. That's our guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rochelle. Oh yeah, I forgot to I forgot to introduce Shelly. So in the mods tonight, or for the mod tonight, we got Shelly once again. Staying true. So if you guys have any questions or anything, she is standing by. So please uh, feel free to, to drop your questions or your comments or anything you've got down below. I'd also love to hear your years of service. Uh, like I said, I was in from 2004 to 2015. I got a great story for you here, by the way. If you're hanging on, hang on. I got a great story and I want your input. But let's get the game started real quick. We're going to go with uh, Failed Monk. We're going to put Constitution, just Intelligence. Works for me. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And then for our name, we're going to just be... We're just going to be EGL. We're going to be EGL. It's a thing now. Anything you've done twice is now a thing. It's a thing now. All right. Here we go. All right. So, my story. We'll just let this play. So, my story is this. I was thinking on my way into work today. I was like, what have I done that I was brand new at and kind of scared because I'm doing the streaming thing, a little nervous. We're getting through it. We're doing great. 
But I was like, man, the last time I felt like this was after basic, after AIT. Hey, Dale, how are you? After basic and after AIT, and it was my first couple weeks, I was at reception at Fort Drum. So I'm a Texas boy, born and raised, and as always, the Army was like, hey, what three places would you love to go to? I'm like, Fort Hood, Fort Sill, Fort Sam. Just keep me around Texas, keep me around, and they send me to upstate New York. Never seen snow a day in my life until I got there. So I got there around October. We were in reception, and reception is, for those of you who don't know, it's where you go and you in process, and you know, most of the people I would think they were listening to me not know what reception is. So get in processed, and then your new boss at some point, or supposed to be your boss, will come and will pick you up. So after I'd done all the reception stuff, he came and picked me up, took me to the office, introduced me, took me to the uh, HHC, took me to the battalion, got me all in process locally. And then on our way back in, or on the second day, he pulls me in his office at, right after PT. It's 9, 10 o'clock. And stop me. I know this is the most cliche thing any Army vet will ever tell you, but I fell for it, and I want to know if anyone out there fell for it or or what you sent your, your brand new private on. Okay, so a lot of you know where this is going. So he pulled me in the office, he's like, Private Matthews, E2. I mean, I was just freshly E2, and I was super proud of my little mosquito wing. Super proud of it. So he pulls me in his office, and he's like, hey, I have a mission for you. We need some things for the commander. And I was like, okay, you've come to the right guy. You've come to the right guy. So uh, he says, we need some things for, the, for, for a uh, training mission we have this weekend. We need you to go. Talk to the quartermaster, yes. and we need you to get some chem light batteries. We need you to go talk to the intel guys, and we need a box of grid squares, and we need you to head to the motor pool to go pick up some exhaust samples. And I was like, you know what, Sergeant, you got it. You got it. So due to him processing, I knew where all these places were. I've shook all these people's hands. All of these people's hands, I've, sh I've shook their hands. They have said, nice to meet you. Welcome to Fort Drum. So the first stop I do is I go to the uh, I go to the I go to the quartermaster. I'm like, hey, we need some chem light batteries. We're going on. We're doing some night missions. We're doing some night missions. He's like, well, you're gonna have to come back. We don't get our shipment in until uh, later on this afternoon. I'm like, okay, okay, I can do that. Head to the motor pool. I need some exhaust samples. Well, they're busy. They tell me to come back. Then I go to the intel guy and ask for some grid squares. He's like, yeah, we have your grid squares, um, but we have a meeting right now, so you're going to have to wait. So I patiently wait. I sit down. Like a good soldier, I sit there. And I mean, I sit there for what seems to be hours. And I'm just like, I'm not coming back empty handed. I'm getting my grid squares. So while I'm waiting, this steel. For probably, I mean, it probably wasn't three hours, but it, you know, it was it was longer than an hour, maybe less than three. So he sends me, so he comes out and tells me that they're out of grid squares. I'm like, that's not gonna work for me. I've been here two hours. I'm Private Matthews. I'm Private Matthews. Hold on, real quick. So Aaron, okay, similar incident on helicopters. Was told to get an exhaust sample. Looked for the task in the manual for three, right. So, the, okay, so when I went to go get my ex exhaust samples, I knew how to PMCS a vehicle. And so I was looking through pages and pages in the book, nothing, nothing. Finally, I went back with my head held, like just as low as it can be. I'm like, my first mission, I failed. I failed my first mission. And as soon as I walk in to the office and my NCO sees me and all the other soldiers see me, they all just die laughing. And then it was just then that I knew. It was then that I knew. So I'm curious. I'm curious, just like Aaron told me about he's out there hunting for exhaust samples. I'm curious if any of you guys sent any of your brand new soldiers for something absolutely ridiculous or if you were sent on something act, uh, absolutely ridiculous. Um, a few that I've heard of um, uh, to go get three feet of flight line. You ever heard of that one? Three feet of flight line? Well, flight line is, you know, a flight line on at the airport. Uh, and a roll of 1,100 cord because the 550 cord wasn't uh, thick enough. So that's a good one. That's a good one, too. So anyways, I thought that was funny, and I was just like, you know, as, as nervous as I was, and I didn't want to fail anything. Uh, 
it was a, it was a good learning experience, and you, I'd like to say I was a better person. And when I became an NCO, I uh, I cut all that stuff out. Uh, I, I I did not. I did not. That was one of my greatest. That was one of my greatest things was getting a new private in. Nothing ever. Uh, nothing ever too malicious, but it was definitely. It was definitely something that I remember for sure. Oh, Aaron, the ID10T. I have filled out many ID10T forms. For those of you without pen and paper ready, um, write ID10, ID10T down on a piece of paper. You'll get it. All right, all right, all right. Shelly, is my audio levels and everything okay? I don't hear anybody complaining about it, but I want to make sure. So a little bit about Borderlands. Uh, I am a level 36 on my other character, so I have played uh, a little bit of this. Sound, or you, sh you sound great. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. You have defeated the crabs. Luckily, they were carrying their life savings for some reason. Oh, man. All yours now. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, I was a, uh, thank you for asking. I was a 46 Quebec, uh, which is a public affairs specialist, photojournalist. I was basically, uh, like a reporter. Uh, I always like to tell people I was kind of like the, uh, I was kind of like the Joker in a full metal jacket. Just not near, not nearly as intense. Thank you, Amanda. Aaron, what were you? All right, all right. That's right. The queen has ruled the Wonderland since I was but a humble player, like you, Bing Bongs. She has foreseen your arrival and left a powerful weapon for you. It was, it was. You know, we always like to say that we were the ones that got to tell the soldier's story. And uh, I think any public affairs guy that you meet, that, and there might be some in the chat right now, I'm not sure, but any public affairs guy you meet, we took that very, very seriously. We got to tell a bunch of uh, stories about soldiers downrange doing the things that they love to do and doing the things that they were asked to do. And I can tell you that it was the greatest job I've ever had, and I'm playing video games right now. So that's saying an, an awful lot, but we got to go out, and like I said, I say we had the best job in the military because you know, we got to ride in all the helicopters, but we didn't have to fill them up. You know, we got to we got to go on all the patrols, but we didn't necessarily have to do all the all the stuff that goes along with that and the vehicles and and getting prepared and everything. We just we just went out with missions and embedded and, and told stories and told soldier stories, and we got to release those out to hometown news, and uh, and you know, like I said, I got to work on the paper. I wrote my first video game review uh, for the Anaconda Times. I mentioned that last time, so I wrote I did a, a review for Mario Galaxy. So that was pretty excited. But in the hands of a champion, anything Jose, I appreciate you. I appreciate Wait, you. Thank you so much. You're in Tainus fantasy, baby! Hold on, I think. Uh, I have to go back a little bit. Apache armament. Oh my goodness, Aaron. You can spy a quick little village. That's the coolest sounding thing I think I've heard in like a month. A dark and ancient castle lurks. Apache armament. So I have another story, because that's what this is tonight. So I have another story. So we were in Anaconda and Balad, and if anyone's ever been to Balad, uh, they have like this really, 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 really nice, oh, we got some bags. We got, uh, like, it's bigger than, I would say an Olympic-sized pool, but it's like bigger than that. It has like this high dive. Um, it was just, it was, it was like an oasis kind of pool. So as we were there, um, these Apaches, one day, we're all just hanging out in the pool, we're barbecuing, I mean, just having a good time. No, sadly, sadly, Shelly, this game is not on Nintendo. This, we are playing this on the PS5, but it's also available on the, uh, Xbox One, Series X, and, uh, also PC so in case you're wanting to check that out. Um, so we were just, again, we were hanging out in the pool, 
I gotta book it. Just relaxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a day, a and out of nowhere, the there, there was just a like a like a cyclone I fence really that was kind of separating us from the wire. They changed this eventually, but this is back in 2005. Uh, these two Apache helicopters went, and there was like this little like grove of like palm trees. And I don't know if there was some bad guy or I don't know what it was, but out of nowhere, these Apaches lit that entire little grove of palm trees up and we were all just sitting in the pool like just cheering them on as they were going so uh your apache armaments are uh that again the coolest sounding thing i've ever heard can we blow up the rocks sorry it's impossible without explosives it's armament avionics and electrical but the armament is the fun part oh i imagine i imagine it would be victory i never lost hope Oh, was Jeff asking if it was on Nintendo? You know, Nintendo has its own kind of world. So, a lot of their... Nintendo is all about their first party, their Marios and stuff, which is great. Which is great. But they don't get a lot of the big AAA titles. They get some of them, but they don't get all of them. So, we will... Here. We are cooking with grease here. These are just kind of like just cannon fodder at the moment. We're not having any problems at all. Oh, so Amanda says she's more of a watcher. She's more of a watcher. I can, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. I will say I watch, um, I would say I watch more uh, YouTubers and streamers than I do um, Netflix or uh, cable TV. I will say that. That's been a change in the last uh, little bit. I should probably uh, concentrate on getting some, getting some ammo. We're out. That's poor planning. That's poor planning. An extra powerful skeleton arises. Amanda, you're saying you're playing puzzle games? Word games. Oh, Wordle. I'm a big Wordle fan. There's nothing wrong with Wordle. Wakes you up in the morning. A single villager remains alive something to do, party. something to accomplish. She look bad, baby. I think there was a great general. Uh, I can't I remember who said it, so if anyone knows in the comments, um, let me know who said it. I can't remember. But he said every morning he wakes up and he makes his bed because at least he's accomplished something. And I was like, I, I, I heard that years ago. And I was like, man, Thank you for saving my peasant ass what a way to look at it. What a way to look at it. You? <laughs> I agree, uh, Amanda. You're, you are, so you're a smart girl. I am on a quest to defeat the Dragon Lord. All right, all right, all right. Where are we at? Where are we at? I knew the queen would send us a hero. The tomb is in the... All right, let's go ahead and level up. Let's get our, uh, our special skill. So what do you guys think? You guys think we should go for more health? More damage? So kill skills, spell cooldown. We're going to go with this one. And then we're going to keep on pumping our intelligence. Dale Killip. My kids could watch others play video games all day if I would let them. They also love to play as well. That's fantastic. Uh, my kid is a big Fortnite player, and that really... Uh, that really brought us together. I, I'm not a Fortnite guy, but uh, it was something that we could do together, and it was great. But I agree, too much of a good thing. I, I, and some, and some, some of them, some of them, I can't, I can't, I can't get behind every YouTuber. But there's, I have a few that I watch, just like, uh, just like uh, my grandmother used to watch her stories, just to watch her stories. So. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Shelley. William McRaven was the one that makes his bed in the morning, by the way, if you want to look up that speech on YouTube later. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Start your day off right. Make your bed. Like I said, it's the same thing with Wordle. It's something small. Something you can accomplish. Stone Mountain. What is that? My conscience. Oh, we are getting tore up. We are getting tore up. Yeah. 
Yeah, please elaborate, Aaron. I'd love to hear what you, what you have to say. Oh, he's a streamer. No. Um, if I was going to call out my favorite streamers, I'm a big uh, I'm a big roguelike guy. If anyone knows what that is, it's pretty much a type of game that uh, you... Uh, oh, how's the best way? It's kind of... It's a game that's meant to be played over and over and over again. And uh, each time you die, you get stronger and you get upgrades that kind of carry on from run to run. And so I really enjoy playing or listening to a guy named Lord the Northern Lion. He's fantastic. But I have to look up Stone Mountain. You only watch on YouTube and Facebook. Well, cool. Well, cool. So, uh, tell me, uh, where were you guys stationed at? My first duty station, I just said, was uh, was at Fort Drum, which was uh, just a just a blessing in and of itself. And then, uh, and then we moved the entire unit. We moved the flag of my unit to uh, Fort Bragg. So I deployed once uh, with 10th Mountain, and I deployed once. With 18th Airborne Corps, and then we went and I deployed once with uh, to Kuwait with uh, 3rd Army. Only watch on YouTube and Facebook. You know, Facebook has come a long ways in the streaming world. So what is this? Banner color. That must Surely be some kind of customization option. Oh, when you got more than one gun, you can switch between them. So once again, guys, I, I want to just tell you guys about um, shopmyexchange.com and the. Uh, I've been working on a campaign. It's sorry, got I'm trying to do too many things at once here. Shopmyexchange.com and the um, and vet verify, and get verified. Get your account set up. Uh, if you have your account already, which I'm hoping all of you do, then please tell somebody that does. Um, uh, my uh, my girlfriend's grandfather. He was a Korean War guy. Uh, we got to talking when he was just trying to give me the business and try to figure out who I am and what I'm all about. And I told him where I worked and he said he used to shop there. And it was just a quick, easy conversation where I could tell him that he still can. And we went through the process together, super easy. We got him verified, got him an account, and uh, he was just as good as he could be. So if you have your account, that's awesome. But let's, let's spread the news and make sure that everybody does. Like I said, this is a benefit that, uh, that you earned. And uh, it was hard fought and it's, this is really like the first bit of like legislation that I was super happy about because it like directly applied to me because I did not uh, retire out of the army. I did 11 years and got out, uh, but now I have that benefit as well. So I'm super stoked about that. So uh, if I seem like I'm harping on it, it's just because I believe in it and I'm, and I'm happy to be a part of it. So if we could spread that word, that's shopmyexchange.com slash vets. And there'll be a big red button there that says get verified. Oh, okay, this is coming from Shelly. This is good advice. She says if they have any issues with Vet Verify, they can send us a message via Facebook, and we will also assist you. So we're just taking all the guesswork out of it. All the guesswork out of it. Oh, that was a good one. So that is my special. The last of the hero bloodline sits in her ancient throne. Her Looks like we have two weapons now. Let's look back up on ammo and everything. So guys, uh, I'm gonna I try not to ask a thousand times, but if you are still here, please hit that like button. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment section below. Like I said, I'd love to hear your uh, years of service and where you were uh, deployed to or where you were stationed at. Um, but please, please smash that like button. We'd love to hear you. We'd love to keep this going. Um, and, and I would also be remiss if I did not tell you, please check the links in the description. Uh, every week we're gonna be putting a bunch of our deals of the week up there. Uh, I know this week, my, my deal of the week, you're going to see a, uh, an Acer Predator uh, gaming monitor, which is fantastic. Um, I would, I would, if I could get, if I could get three of those set up in here, oh, we, we would be, we would be on point. So, okay. Uh, but there's also a bunch of uh, uh, accessories, some bionic accessories and stuff. But please, just check those links and then check the tabloid and check the weekly deals on shopmyexchange.com. And then, oh, there we go. Got it. Uh, I can't say enough about this game, Aaron. Thank you. Uh, it is a fantastic game. I don't know if you are very familiar with the uh, Borderlands franchise. You can see my buddy here. Uh, he's from he's from Borderlands. So Borderlands One and Borderlands Two. So when I first got to Fort Bragg, Borderlands had just come out, and uh, I had met a new friend. Um, 
he became one of my nearest and dearest, closest friends. Uh, and me and him, and when I say we spent hours, this was like, this wasn't an all-nighter. This was an all-weekender. We probably sat there in my couch in my, uh, in my game room and played uh, Borderlands 1 for... I mean, we must have put 20 hours in it over over the course of two days, at least. We might have put 30. I don't know. I don't remember sleeping, but I'm sure we did at some point. But again, that's the, that's the great thing about the military and gaming. Um, my whole career, it seems like, because I didn't game really much as a kid. Um, nerd. <laughs> she just called me a nerd. Um, I didn't game much as a kid. Um, I was outside doing stuff. But then um, once I joined the military and I became... Uh, I got into Halo and, and, and being around all these soldiers and setting up LAN parties and, and it just became like just part of it. It just kind of became what we did. And it didn't matter where I went, it didn't matter where I was deployed to, there was always a, uh, there was always a community of gamers around. That felt good. That felt good. Hey, have a good night, Aaron. Thank you for stopping by. It was a, pre it was a pleasure talking to you. Come back next week. Same great channel, same great place, same great time, all that stuff. Love to hear from you. You feel its magic within your chest, within your mind, within your soul. All right. It asks a question. Who are you? I am a fate maker. I am a fate maker. So again, if, I don't know if you guys could hear, or if you can notice, if you can pick out the pick out the voice actors in your head. Uh, Tiny Tina is voiced by the one and only Ashley Birch. Uh, I know her from uh, before she was really, really big, and uh, she had her own like YouTube channel. And uh, so I was watching her there, and then the other guy. I don't know if anybody want to take any guesses at this, but it's Andy Samberg. Uh, and also Wanda Sykes, and the uh, the big bad right. is voiced by Will One Arnett. Of the Lord's most loyal undead soldiers. It's Rivula. Roll for initiative. All right, here we go. First boss. First boss. I think we can handle this. I'm not trembling. I'm trembling. Kick his ass, Louie. I don't mean to go radio silent, but don't mean to go radio silent. Our first death. Our first death. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, we're back. We're back. Oh, my goodness. That was close. Sorry. Right. So this game, if you didn't know, has a... Uh, has a mechanic where if you do die and if you can kill a guy before that that timer runs out you get to come back alive so we were we were uh we were saved so we're going to keep those guys alive for a little bit just in case we need them again this graveborn is a lot more glass uh glass cannon than I have. Sorry, I don't mean to go radio silent. It gets, it gets intense. It gets intense. So it looks like we got all of them. Looks like we got all of them. We'll check those weapons out here in just a bit. So guys, it looks like we're about halfway through the live stream. I want to appreciate everybody still watching, and we appreciate it so much. Be sure and hit that like button. Um, here's Will Arnett's character voice, if you can hear it. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, not happening. Come on, the Fate Maker never beats the villain in the first quest. Still, 
You're stronger than the ones she sent before. Hmm. I wonder. It's always good to hear a familiar I face. Wonder. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. We'll meet again, we are. We are getting some. But we are now, getting some. I have to go pay an old shiny friend a visit. Oh, another thing I mentioned on the stream last week, but I'll uh, I'll mention again. Um, we also have uh, gift cards uh, available on shopmyexchange.com. Uh, you can head there and type in gift cards, and then make sure you hit the email delivery receipt option on the left, on the top left-hand corner, and you'll be able to buy PlayStation Network cards, Xbox cards, Xbox Live cards, uh, Games with Gold cards, all of those subscription services, and you'll be able to use your Military Star card. And so I would be remiss as well, as I was saying, all purchases at uh, shopmyexchange.com. When you use your Military Star, uh, you get free shipping, and everything is always tax-free as well. So be sure and check those links out in the description. Get yourself a brand-new monitor. We have, like I said, we have a bunch of accessories, uh, third-party accessories for Xbox, PS5, all that good stuff. Uh, let's see what we got here. That is simply better. That is simply better. That is simply better. I think we're doing well. I think we're doing well. So let's head on over and let's continue. All right, we got a blue. So currently... Let's just head with this for now. Fate Maker's journey begins as so many do, with a heart full of fire and dreams of dragons and magic. It will end only one way, with the ultimate defeat of all evil. Despite your heroic efforts, the Dragon Lord has escaped! Wait a minute. Did you hear what he said? Shiny? Friend? Neighborhood? I know where he's headed. He's after Queen Butt Stallion! Queen, Queen Butt Stallion. So we leveled up again. Let's go ahead. Let's hit this. We're going to just keep on going. Well, you know what? We were dying a lot. Let's go. Let's, let's shoot for a little health. We're getting a little too close. A little too big for our britches there. And then let's just keep on boosting that intelligence. Well, who do we have here? Who do we have here? For those of you who don't know, this is my buddy Matt. So I'm sure he's going to be dropping in from time to time and playing with us. Look forward to it. Travel Countdown. So, for those of you that are unaware, Matt actually is the one that brought this to my attention. This game, it uses an overworld map that kind of takes the, if you play Borderlands 1 and 2, this kind of takes the place of uh, vehicles for how we get from place to place, from like one big hub world to the next. Uh, so, it's a very interesting way, and I think it looks it looks great. The premise of this game is it's supposed to be kind of a, uh, a make-believe Dungeons and Dragons game with Tiny Tina playing, oh, and the, and the credits, and the title screen. So, we have uh, Tiny Tina as our dungeon master. And uh, we get to go through her crazy little world. And here we are. So welcome to the overworld, which is pretty much what I just explained. There's Matt. Say hi, Matt. All right. Sounds good. Uh-oh. The road to Brighthoof is blocked. Guess you'll have to go through that tall grass. Hello, Christine. Yes, welcome, Matt. Welcome, Matt. Indeed. <laughs> I'm guessing they want us to head this way. We're going to have this little random encounter. I don't think it's going to be a problem for me and old boy here. Not 
We're gonna have to switch weapons. That is not a great weapon. Not a great weapon. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Matt here brought his uh, his A game to the table today. That does not look like a level two guy to me. Fair enough. Save some for the rest of us, buddy. Save some for the rest of us. No snipes for me. All right, and we shall continue. Beating down, beating down some sticks. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to go this way yet. Matt's got the Matt's got the bottle cap down. And our first None quest. Our first quest. Oh, Tina. Overworld. Nice to meet you. What? No! Seems Get a little on the edge, but maybe it can point you to something keen. Look at, look at all these hotties, hottie fun things. This one, his name is Dimitri Hapadopoulos, and these are his cousins from out of state. And why are they ticking? I'm so glad you asked because they are also called. All right. Great. Away nice we go. To meet you, Dimitri. Going right, I'm going left. At least with my Stablemancer guy, I was a big pistol guy. Which is weird, because I'm never a pistol guy. Looks like we did it. Yeah, see like right here. I'll take I'll take this I'll take this all day. Alrighty. On to the next. On to the next. But I do want to thank everybody for coming out tonight and supporting the stream. We really appreciate it. We're having fun here. So uh, I'm having a blast. I think this is a, a fantastic opportunity to kind of highlight new games and new accessories and, and, and talk about the exchange and just tell stories. Um, so I was, I was very excited to just uh, have the opportunity to sit around, talk with a bunch of veterans, and, and hear what they had to say. So I want to appreciate all the veterans that came by. And we got one more. And I am, of course, still learning how to play and talk at the same time, but I think we're getting through it. We're getting through it just fine. 
What are these guys? I'm 70, 80 percent sure that that caravan is where I should go. Is that person friend or foe? To sheath or unsheath? That is the question. Again. All right. You traveled such well, a long well, I... way to be here. A little closer won't hurt. This is a new area for me. I think I, I missed this the first playthrough, so this is cool. As big as these for no reason at all. I can tell you're an expert world hopper, far beyond Brighthood. There's old Vesper. In the land of imagination. So, what need you imagine a person like me to say? I don't think we need to purchase anything. All right, we'll just keep following the arrow. So in the comments below, guys, if you could, I want I want to know what your favorite game of the year so far is. What is your favorite game thus far of the year? Again, I have a love hate thing going on with Elden Ring right now, so it's hard for me to uh, to, to to really like really. I haven't quite beat it yet. Close, but not there just yet. Now, fortune I have for you, I know you like. I see a great partnership in your future. But my my favorite games of the year is definitely going to be this or Elden Ring so far. But it's probably going to be Elden Ring. Although last week we played Lego Star Wars, I haven't quite finished. I haven't uh, got very far into that yet. But um, that's definitely up there as well. We had a great time playing Star Wars last week. I remember Leia with that backhand. Leia with that backhand was she was something else. She was something else. Let's just keep heading. I think pretty soon we're gonna be a, we're gonna be arriving towards Bright Hoof, which is our main hub world for this section of the game. Hey, Aaron, you're back. How was dinner? <laughs> What's for dinner, Aaron? Hey. All okay. right, here we Don't go. Don't worry, those jerks at the table can't hear me. It's just us down here. Hey, I know I'm the villain, but I still just wanted to wish you luck on the whole quest thing. Not that you need luck, right? <laughs> I mean, you're the fate maker. Before you rise the mighty walls of Brighthood. Oh, Dale, so you're playing the Skywalker saga. We will try and bring that back for sure. We just have to figure out how we can do it. I think we can, because I'm definitely interested in bringing uh, the Skywalker saga back. We only got to play through, like, maybe a little bit of the episode four. So I had a great, great time playing it. Beautiful game. Like I was telling, the, I was telling in the stream last week, I was like, I know it's only plastic pieces, but it looks amazing. The way they do the texture work and the quality of it. It's just, I haven't played a lot of, I've only played Lego Batman 2 before that. And I was blown away by the texture work and the quality of that game. It was fantastic. They could have phoned that in. They could have very easily phoned that one in, but they chose not to. Special sacrifices a little bit of health, but I don't know how much health it sacrifices. So we're gonna try and we're gonna keep an eye on the uh... Oh, about half. So that probably is why I've been dying. That's a good call. That's a good call. Maybe not just willy-nilly sacrifice half your HP every time the, the button becomes available. That's a good that's a good place to start, don't you think? Yeah, for sure. Because I know that it seems like they had made all of those games already before, and then they re. It, but it wasn't like they re-released them. They completely remade that. So how far into uh, Skywalker Saga are you? Yeah. This may be a running. This may be a running theme with all my streams, where we're, at some point it's all going to circle back to uh, Star Wars. <laughs> So at some point, I believe we will find a way to uh, uh, just bring the conversation back to Star Wars probably on every stream I ever did at some point in time. So, oh. Tyler's a new gamer. Welcome, Tyler. Welcome, Tyler. Something tells me I don't, I don't believe that I'm dead. I don't believe that I'm dead. I think someone's lying to me. Yeah. No, I do, I do like, okay. 
I know you're being funny, Tyler. I know you're, but I love. There's one game on my phone that I can't get enough of, and let me tell you, go to go somewhere and download Super Auto Pets. Super Auto Pets on your phone will change your life. Greatest game ever made. That might be my game of the year, even though it came out, you know, last year. But sadly, sadly, uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is not available on iOS or Android, Oi, surprisingly. You citizen, over here. Paladin Mike. I saw you fighting the undead on the beach. Glad I'm not the only one giving these bony pricks a hard time. Of course, fellow champion, but I, I was under the impression most paladins spoke with gravitas. Do I bloody look like I've got time for manners lessons? I'm up to my card piece and I'm dead. We are dealing with none other than the Dragon Lord himself. I have born I'm gonna keep boosting intelligence and boosting health. That just seems like that seems like a smart move at the moment. Episode five. Okay. What's your favorite movie, Dale? What's your favorite Star Wars movie? Numbered movie. Numbered movie. Tina, I know you like explosives, but can you make it more fantasy themed than C4? Uh, here, take this, Fantasy uh, four, you get it? You get it? I'll help the villagers get to safety. Fight through the siege fields. Use that fantasy four to blow the catapults to kingdom bloody come. So your favorite movies are three, four, and five. That's that's an interesting list. That's an interesting list. <laughs> One from the 90s and two from the from the 70s and or 80s. I will always and forever be a uh, uh, an Empire guy. I love Empire. That's my favorite movie. Favorite Star Wars movie. I, I can't, like I said, I can't get behind any of seven, eight, or nine. Uh, one, two, and three, although not my favorite, uh, they've definitely grown on me over the years. I don't think they're nearly as bad as I used to think they were. Uh, so they've, they've definitely they've definitely aged better than I thought they ever would. Not much of a new hope. Yet. It was a good starting point, but I think that's exactly what it was. It's a starting point. Here. Maybe he's worth half my health. You know what's funny? It's half my health, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It doesn't do very much damage at all. My uh, my Stabomancer had like a spinning blade that he would throw out. Um, and it was it was it was chopping fools up. It was getting on. That's what I was getting at, Dale. That's exactly what I was getting at. I think Rogue One might be the best Star Wars movie, but I wanted to—I wanted to keep it—I uh, wanted to keep it numbered. I thought Rogue One was incredible. I thought that was an incredible movie. Okay, so Paladin Mike isn't mine, but I met this cool while, on the while, I don't know why I said all funny, while we are on the subject of movies, who is excited about Doctor Strange on Friday? I have already purchased uh, my tickets. I will be seeing uh, Doctor Strange as soon as I can, 5.15 on, on Friday. Looking forward to it. It's been a long time since I've been this excited about a, um, an MCU movie. Not because they haven't been great, it's just I've been waiting to kind of get back to the roots of things. I want to get back to my... I know the Avengers aren't necessarily a thing, but I've been waiting for me some mainline character. Somebody that's not new to go back to... You're right, you can't go wrong boosting intelligence. That's what I tell my kids all the time. If all they ever did was boost their intelligence. 
the world is their oyster. Battlefield. Battle. It really? That's the, that's the game, Tyler? That's the game? Battlefield? I can't, I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'm pretty sure that that is one of the worst games of, like, 2020. Or 2021, whenever that came out. I'm pretty sure the game doesn't even work. I don't even think Battlefield works. Battlefront. I thought, okay, I read it wrong. I'm sorry. I thought you said Battlefield. Battlefront would be a good one. So my first Battlefront game was uh, the very first Battlefront on, but I played it on PSP. Or it was either PSP or Vita. It was one of those. One of those weird PlayStation handhelds that were fantastic. But just didn't get the didn't get the love that they deserved. But I remember playing Battlefront. That was like a first deployment game. That was like that was back to that was back to Anaconda days. Was Battlefront? I remember playing on the back of C-130. Mushroom guy following him around. Yeah, he's 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 brought his uh he's brought his boys to play today. What in the world? Got him. The thing about Battlefront, though, Tyler, is the way that they monetized it. It was just the way they monetized it that was just kind of, just kind of gross. People, people expect to pay their sixty-seven dollars for a game and get sixty-seven dollars of a game. Show them no quarter. It's like Madden. Put a bad taste in your mouth. That's not right. I bought the game. Okay, that is the worst ability. Hopefully, as we get more health, that'll be that, uh, hopefully, as we get more health, that, um, that ability, that's pretty much just a one way death trap. Sorry, Matt. I got I got too big for my britches. I was hitting the button too much. I was I was I was sucking the life out of me just way too much. I'm coming. Hold it down for me, Matt. Matty Ice holding it down. Broke the seat. Hardly broke a sweat. That'll bloody learn him! <sighs> Regroup by the main gate! I can see him gathering for an assault. Oh, good for you. See, while you're having your little heroic tantrum out there, my forces are already in the city getting ready Amen. to burn the place to the ground. Thank you. Oh, this is great. Thanks for that. We're all having fun. Got some blues. Blues are always good. That one's not. Well, you're stranded. Here's we'll a stick with it right here. I've been waiting for that bridge to pop up. Bloody infrastructure idiot. Hello, pop in. That's no problem. That's no problem. Well, guys, we are nearing the end of the stream. I want to thank you guys once again for stopping by. We've had a great time. We've told some cool stories. I appreciate everybody in the comment section. If you are still around, please hit that like button. It's much appreciated. Uh, I'm going to hang around in the chat a little bit afterwards. So uh, feel free to leave any of your comments down there as well. But um, this has been fantastic. Uh, we're really enjoying it here. We're getting better. We're getting a little uh, technically more savvy each and every week. So I think we're going to really have something here pretty quick. Um, if you, I would be remiss if I didn't remind you about uh, shopmyexchange.com slash vets. Please go out there and get verified. Uh, get your account set up. Um, again, that's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a benefit that you have earned. 
Uh, so, so, so make use of it. And get yourself something nice. You earned it. Um, also, tomorrow we have a uh, beauty live with Clinique and Estee Lauder. So shout out to my girl Emily Zars because she'll be hosting that. So that's going to be tomorrow at 11 right here on our Facebook page. Um, if you missed the chief chat from today with uh, Sam, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Sam Eckholm. Uh, he's a YouTuber and influencer. Please go back. I believe that's pinned to the top of the page um, as well. So be sure and check that Chief Chat out. And as always, check out my boy Roy Montez. Mondays at 11. Get your fitness on with BeFit Live. And then I'll be here every Tuesdays or every Tuesday at 7 Central Time. And uh, again, we're just going to sit around. We're going to play games. We're going to tell some stories. We're going to talk about. We're going to talk about what's going on. So I appreciate it so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, Dale's wife requests Animal Crossing. Dale, that's not a bad idea, but that is like a that is a storytelling game. That is a game where you just say, I would have to write a book and just sit there around and talk about all my experiences and then like and read all the comments from all of yours because that is a that is a commitment of a game. I know people that have been playing that game for thousands of hours. So Animal Crossing is definitely it's definitely a thing. It's definitely a thing, but we might have to do like a like an 8-hour stream one day and all we do is play Animal Crossing. So that's a good suggestion. We appreciate it. So, and with that said, guys, we're going to we're going to head out of here. I appreciate everything once again. Oh, you missed it, Amanda. Yeah, I I went through all the presets of characters. I just went through all the presets and I found the one that looked closest to me. Uh, and Shelly says, Toodles, and thank you so much, Shelly, for being our mod tonight. We appreciate it so, so much. And she's kind of uh, she's kind of the voice inside my ear that you guys don't hear. So uh, thank you so much, Shelly. We appreciate you so much for what you do and uh, burning that midnight oil with me up here at the studio. So thank you again. We appreciate it. But, yes, he does look like me. He does look like me. He's got the beard. And uh, he's got the beard, and uh, I've got a little more hair than he's got, but not much more, not much more. So once again, guys, Thank you so much. I'm going to hang around in the comments, so be sure to say, uh, say what's up or give me those, give me those games, give me those uh, top games of the year, and I will see you guys next week, Tuesday, 7 o'clock Central Time. Bye.